In today's tutorial, I am sharing my process for how to draw tulips. I think tulips are kind of a strange flower, but they are beautiful and they have a wonderful form. So let's get started. Welcome back guys, my name is Shada Campbell and today I am going to draw two tulips uh, to show some different ways of doing it because they are quite simple. So I am starting with the first one and the stem is just very straight as some of them are and you're going to do a double line there to show that wide stem. And I'm going to do a circle at the bottom. Uh, I thought tulips are sort of a bit plain, there's only so much to them. So adding a bulb just gives me that extra design element and makes the illustration a little more fun. So I'll add the bulb at the bottom and you just start with a circle and kind of shape it around it. And then for the flower, we're going to do an oval coming off the top of the stem. And then you'll refine that oval shape a little to make it a little more petal-like. <laughs> and then add two petals on the side. This is quite a tight tulip. And maybe two more points in behind and a vein down the center of that first petal. Now for the leaves, they sort of wrap around the stem and that's very important and they're very thick and heavy and they curve and curl in this wonderful way. So you can see here I'm illustrating a leaf that has this curved bit in front. Let's do another one. Um, actually, I don't like the shape of that one, so let's get rid of it first. <laughs> and then let's do this one slowly together. So this is going from the back and it just sort of is this triangular shape. The lines of the perimeter are very wavy. Uh, that's a nice detail to add. <laughs> I'm gonna erase a little bit more. You're definitely gonna wanna play around with these shapes. The leaves are big and floppy and funny, and you wanna add these little bits to them that are curved under. So I'm just adding two sections there where it looks like the leaf um, is curving basically like a curved ribbon we're going to add another little leaf up at the top sort of in behind the stem uh, again triangular wavy <laughs> and let's do another one together and we're going to uh, talk it through so the stem of this one is curved before I draw the bulb I'm going to draw an axis just a line so that I can keep the circle of the bulb even um, and then for the leaves very big floppy wavy lines adding that little extra bit along the side of the leaf that represents the leaf curving outward i'm going to do one of these these leaves very very floppy like falling away from the stem but it's the same idea big wavy lines and that little extra bit same for the leaf in the back add that extra bit that's curving in a different direction then for the blossom or the flower we'll do an oval make it a little more petal like uh, this one is going to be opening up quite a bit more so it's the same idea with those extra four petals but you're seeing more of each of them okay and then let's start going over this in pen so that you guys can really see so I'm just going over around the perimeter basically with the pen giving the bulb lots of life with those broken lines at the bottom and capturing all of the curves of the leaf um, with these nice dark pen lines. I know my hand is in the way a little bit. I will shift that camera angle in just a second. And um, actually this pen I'm struggling with a tiny bit. I'm gonna switch to my Pigma Micron, the 03 nib. I was using the Meloto. Um, but basically I'm just doing this with an artist pen. Any artist pen is your friend here. And we'll get in a little closer. The petals on top, I do the lines a little wavy, a little broken. That's just to show that it's the flower. It's, it's not perfect. It's a little jagged. It's a little, very ephemeral and delicate. Uh, you wanna get that very vein in the middle of the uh, petal. That's very important on the tulip, I think. And then I'm adding lots of little line shading now that I'm done the perimeter lines, the contour drawing. And all of these lines on the petals, they move in, the, in a way that shows the direction of the petal, that it shows that it's curved. And then here you can finally see why I was adding all those weird lines to the leaves. Um, all of that part, those under bits are gonna be much darker to show that curved nature of the leaves. Okay, let's do another 
other one and you guys can see now from a bit of a better angle. So the petals are a little jagged, a little bit uh, loose and rough and we are going to do that vein right down the center. It's sort of a double line that comes to a point. And then we're going to add all of this line shading. So a bit of line shading in the back to show there would be shadow. And then lots and lots of curved lines along the petals to show that the petals themselves are curved. They're making a circle, you know, around the stamen, around the stem there. So we want to show the nature of that curved petal. And we do that with those tiny, tiny curved lines. And then for these big crazy leaves, we want to go all around everything, just finish up our contour drawing. And uh, the contour drawing is just the line drawing, so a, a line drawing with no shading. So I'm finishing this up, but then what I really want to talk about is all these weird bits on the petals. So by doing line shading, I can really show what's going on here. And what's going on is that all of these petals have curved, so the light is going to hit them in different ways. So this bit that I'm working on, it's going to be much darker because it's sort of underneath uh, the rest of the petal. And this is what's so great about these tulips. They are weird flowers, aren't they? But they're really fun to shade and to draw. And I'm gonna add lots and lots of dark line shading on these outer bits of the curving, curving petal. And then I'll also add lots of line shading inside those leaves as well. I just said petal, didn't I? I meant leaves. <laughs> um, but yes, just making the stem a bit darker, making the outer parts of the leaves a bit darker. And all of these lines, they're tiny and they're very perfectly imperfect, but the one thing I focus on is making sure that they move in a way that represents the flower. So the lines on the petals show motion, they show the curvature of those petals, and the lines on the leaves, they all move with the leaves. So they're these broken, jagged lines that are curving the way the leaf is curving, and they're gonna get really dark, the leaves around the stem, because the light can't quite get down in there. And then they're gonna get dark uh, at the tip of the leaf where the leaf curves to a point um, because the light can't quite get in there either so just have fun you as the artist decide where the light comes from uh, in this picture it's basically sort of uh, hitting straight on maybe coming from the right a little bit and uh, you can see as it comes together I still haven't finished the one on the left for some reason but I will get to it I just keep adding more and more line shading and the whole look of the flower really emerges and you can see that the stem is thick and curved and you can see that the petals are curved and delicate and that these really big thick leaves um, are sort of wonky and and curving and they're stiff and you, and you really see that so have fun with the line shading if you want to uh, if you find it easier you might switch to a smaller nib pen uh, the 03 is kind of a Goldilocks nib for me I like it for the contour drawing and for the shading but you could always switch to a smaller nib for all those tiny lines and that is me just finishing up that bulb there I was more successful making the bulb darker at the bottom and lighter on top as opposed to the first one which I kind of did darker on the sides and that doesn't really make sense because the light would kind of be hitting it um, I think a little bit more from the top so second one a little more successful I'm super happy with these I'd love to maybe um, scan them into the computer and do an art print if that's something you'd be interested um, in getting your hands on let me know thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you soon with a new video